everyone, this week I just wanted to do a super quick tutorial on lighting the Hanukkah candles. Now, the first step, obviously, is to get hold of a menorah. And if you can't afford to buy a beautiful silver menorah, don't worry about it at all. You can use a menorah made out of virtually anything. And you can even nowadays get disposable menorah kits that include everything you need for the full eight nights. There's no cleanup involved. They're very easy and convenient. And if you're into arts and crafts, you can even make your own menorah. So case in point, check out some of these absolutely beautiful ones made by some of my kids this past week. And in terms of materials, you can really use anything you like. And the only restrictions are that we're told we shouldn't use hollowed out vegetables or eggshells which are considered kind of like a disgrace to the mitzvah. But another nice idea is that you can use olive oil and wicks in small glass cups for lighting. And that's because the miracle of the Hanukkah story that we're actually celebrating and commemorating when we light the menorah happened with olive oil. But again, if you don't have olive oil, you can use other kinds of oil. And then obviously you can definitely use candles. And if you're stuck, you can even use tea light candles. Now, the custom outside of Israel is to set up our menorah on a table facing the street. We want to publicize the miracle of Hanukkah as much as possible. And the ideal time for lighting the menorah is 20 minutes after sunset. And once we're ready to light, we make sure that our candles are set up every night, starting from the right end of the menorah as we're facing it. Now, on a traditional night, we add an extra candle and we start lighting from left to write. And since the Hanukkah lights are considered to be so incredibly holy, we don't want to use them for any type of functional purpose. We don't read by them and we also don't use any of the candles to light any of the other candles. So instead we designate a separate candle called the Shamash, literally a service candle, and we use that to light the other candles. Now the blessings that we say on the candles are all in the Hanukkah section of the Jewish prayer book or the Siddur. And if you don't have one, don't worry about it. They can easily be found online. And so what you do is you light the shamash and then you say the blessings and then you light the other candles. And now there's also an additional paragraph that can be found in the Siddur that you could also say after you light the candles. And after that, there's also the beautiful song that many of us know and love called Ma'atzur that we sing. And if you don't know Ma'atzur, don't worry. Again, it's never too late to learn. Now, once we're done with our lighting and singing, it's a beautiful time to sit and just relax and enjoy the lights and think about the huge miracle that we're celebrating on Hanukkah and spend time with our family. And it's also an incredible opportunity and a beautiful time to think about our responsibility as Jewish people in the world today. Now, that's all for now. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. Wishing you all a beautiful and happy, 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 happy Hanukkah. And see you next time.